Good evening, America. Due to a national shortage of substitute teachers, the Department of Education has reached out to the U.S. military for recruitment. Well, first they reached out to the Department of Labor, but they left that message on red. So here we are. As Staff Sergeant, my first duty was to send out an all call for active duty service members to begin subbing in the classroom. Unfortunately, after the first day of substitute teacher work, all of my men stated they would rather be sent off to war and asked to be restationed in Afghanistan. And I've been trying to fill Kabul for years. Who knew that all the motivation they needed was two hours with a 13-year-old holding a clicky pen that forgot to take his meds? So, in response to being unable to fill these emergency substitute positions, the U.S. government has authorized the first ever substitute teacher draft lottery. We will pull a date out of this bag and you will be assigned to a school in the order in which your birthday falls. Think of it like a birthday gift card that's valued at $8 an hour. When your birth date is called, come on up and grab your substitute teacher package, which includes dehydrated spam, work boots, Kevlar, and a rifle. I'm sorry, hold on. Oh, this is the Vietnam package. Can I have the substitute teacher one? Okay, so it includes dehydrated spam, work boots, Kevlar, a rifle, and a desk calendar. Gotta get that desk calendar in there. Now, you're not going in unprepared. As part of your substitute teacher training, you'll be put into simulations that replicate the classroom experience. For classroom management, you'll be spending one hour attempting to subdue and cage 30 wild chinchillas. For parent-teacher contact training, you'll spend 10 hours on the phone attempting to talk to a real person at the IRS. And for environment training, you will endure 10 minutes of exposure in our tear gas room full of Axe body spray and burnt popcorn. And I want to remind you, America, the substitute teacher draft is not an option. Anyone attempting to flee to Canada will be caught and reassigned to a classroom with that one chorus kid that can't sing but never stops. Lastly, those of you that think you can just do a bad job and we will fire you are in for a rude awakening when we promote you to district office. That's how they do it. Now, before I start this, just remember one thing. If we had just used the real lottery money correctly, we wouldn't need this draft lottery. October 7th.